Hey, what's good, Maji gang? Welcome back to my channel here at Maji the Priestess. Today, I have to deliver a very serious message over here. All right, y'all already know Maji always got the tea. I will be posting another video later on about a very specific um, reading. I mean, dream I had. This was very uh, prophetic dream. And this is for the chosen ones, okay? If I have not made it clear in my channel, Every message that I deliver is for the chosen ch children of God, okay? Um, I have even created an oracle deck here for the chosen ones. It's called the chosen ones 144 for that 144,000 that have been chosen by God, the light workers, okay, who are here to bring love, light into this world and to fight this spiritual war because we know that we will, okay? Us chosen ones. I have my weapon on me, all right? Because we are warriors. I'm speaking to spiritual warriors, all right? And no weapon, before I start this reading, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. That's on, that's on God, all right? So today's message, okay? Like, I have so many downloads that... I really hope that I remain obedient to deliver this to you guys. Sometimes it's not as, it's not very easy to deliver a message here, okay? Like it really isn't. It may look easy, but sometimes it really isn't, okay? So the message here today, guys, is you chosen one, okay? The chosen ones are being watched at this time by the devil's agents. Now, we were always being watched at some point, but for whatever reason, there might be a shift or maybe you're getting to your life purpose or you're getting to that mission that God has given you. God hire me. Who gonna fire me, people? Somebody comment that down below. God hire me. Who's gonna fire me? Right? But the chosen ones right now are being watched by the devil's agents. Okay? This is the download that I got as soon as I woke up from this dream. As many other downloads that I will download later on. Right now I have some appointments to go to. So I'm doing this very quick reading here. Okay, so if you feel that you are... Every chosen one knows they're chosen, by the way. So, you know, um, yeah. So anyways, you need to know right now, chosen one, that you are being watched by the devil's agents. You might have had strangers this week, last week, this month approach you out of nowhere randomly. Okay, it has happened to me about... Let me see, it was Sunday, Monday. On Monday... Okay, I went out to the park and I went to get some fresh air and ground my energy. And as I was leaving the park, someone was running after me and they were like, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. And you know, I'm, I'm like, I don't really like, like talking to strangers. I don't have a problem with that. But since I'm very like introverted and like antisocial, like I like to just keep to myself. I was kind of just continued walking this person chased after me and was like oh my god who are you like i need to know your name like you're beautiful um how old are you and you would probably think that this person is somebody that was trying to hit on me on the regular which i could have thought that too but to be honest i heard spirits say grab your selenite for some reason this person striked me as a cia okay this person striked me as a cia like an agent of the devil who is here to watch me, who is here to inquire about me, who is here to distract me. This person, once they found out that I was like a psychic, okay, he immediately tried to kind of, you know, make fun of it and be like, well, yeah, you know, if, if you give general readings on, on, on YouTube, well, you know, how is that supposed to be specific to one person? But what people don't know is that the chosen ones, we're all going through the same thing. We're all a family. We're all the same. The chosen children of God, when God gives us a message, right? When Moses, when all these prophets, when Joseph, when all these prophets in the Bible were delivering prophecies and messages from God, were they not relatable to everyone that was meant to hear that message? It wasn't for one specific person, okay? So do not be misled at this time by strangers trying to approach you. I'm telling you the instinct. I saw this person, my intuition said CIA. I literally even told this person, are you CIA? And this person didn't even deny it. They just laughed. So yeah, that's not even the only reason. Like I said, um, last night I had a very intense dream, which I will do a second video today and I will tell you what is going on. It's even, it's crazy guys. Like this is real life 
all right this is for real the devil is real god is real um the enemy is real you know they're trying to stop us from our life purpose they're trying to distract us right now is what i'm getting is the devil's trying to initiate the chosen ones they're trying to see and tempt if they could even get to you if they can make the chosen one who's on god's side go to the devil's side okay so basically you just need to know that you are being watched at this time so make sure that you protect yourself and you guard yourself and you use your intuition to know what is good and what is bad and who is trying to distract you from your purpose and who is trying to raise you up to your purpose there's a difference make sure you guys are checking out who's draining your energy who is toxic in your environment because right now the devil is hiring many agents agents in your family agents in your work agents in your friendships agents in in your love life okay right now these people are easily tempted but a chosen one is not easily tempted that's why the devil's trying to initiate the chosen ones they're watching you they know what you're doing they're watching you online they're watching you in your dreams they're watching you in the spirit they're watching you in the physical some of you guys really know what i'm talking about others of you might be confused but that is okay as long as you're listening to this message it will activate you i promise you okay so let's use the chosen ones oracle deck and see what spirit has to say here you may be seeing a lot of helicopters in the sky okay i have stories for days guys before the pandemic hit before the pandemic hit, I had a CIA, okay, come to me in Central Park. No lie. And this person even confessed to me that they were a CIA. At the time, I was with a friend in Central Park. And there were already rumors of a pandemic happening. There were already rumors of, you know, this thing that I can't say on YouTube going on around the world. And it was like just the beginning faces of it. And I remember this guy was telling us his name which ironically was the exact same name of the guy who showed up to me on Monday. Michael was the name, okay, Michael. And you know, all these agents, I remember this guy was trying to tell me like, oh yeah, aliens are real and I work for the CIA. And <clears throat> it was very dark in the night. This person knew some things about me, like my Zodiac sign and things like that, my birth date. And it was very weird, but <clears throat> that's for another time let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to share that story but success is here you're okay. about to have success that's why right now you are being heavily watched whoever you are my chosen one okay my chosen child of god here you're about to have success you understand you're about to have a major epiphany major success which is why right now the devil's trying to stop you from your lane trying to distract you trying to watch you trying to make sure yeah you hear that airplane you may be seeing a lot of signs pay attention to the signs is what i'm getting not just the numbers not just the birds or the totems that you're seeing because those signs are coming from your spirit guides angels and ancestors pay attention to those anomalies like neo okay life is a matrix pay attention to the anomalies neo used to always look at the black cat as an anomaly or the white rabbit what is your anomaly chosen one this is real life and they could think we're playing chess this is not chess this is real life all right you're about to have some sort of success and you have the agents of the devil watching you i'm telling you right now so beware okay and know that you're about to have success this people these things these enemies cannot stop you but they can through you distract you it's time to remain calm at this time all right spirit is saying remain calm meditate integrate yourself so that you're able to discern evil to discern what is good what is bad to discern who is against you okay yeah, some of you guys need to purchase this deck here, okay? And you guys need to really watch this video till the end, no lie. Very important message. Stay away from people that are draining your energy. Stay away from people that are making you, that have underestimated you, okay? That are telling you, that are doing spell work on you. Listen to your intuition because I know that you feel this energy already. You need to know that you come from ancient divine blood and the enemy knows this. They know what you carry. They know the lineage you come from. They know the gifts that you carry. So these enemies here, these agents are trying to make sure that they block the success, that you do not get to the mission that God hired you for. There is a job. There is a position God has given you. Okay, that's why you're here on earth. That's why you are an earth angel. That's why you are a light worker. You're about to succeed in this. You don't even know it because this doesn't have to be a huge 
mission or something. This could be as simple as you accomplishing your own goal. But when we follow our intuition and our passions and our creations, our creativity, this is always leads us to our promised land. It always leads us to our fulfillment of what God has given us and hired us for. You need to know that you're about to be successful. And right now there's a lot of war. The enemy wants you to join their side. They want to initiate you. Okay, I will be making a part two, maybe even a part three to this video. I'm speaking to somebody that's very psychic, very clairvoyant, so you know what I'm talking about. You are psychic, so you yourself are getting a lot of prophetic dreams. You yourself are seeing things in the spirit world where you're fighting entities, you're fighting enemies. <clears throat> you could be a prophet here, prophetess. Very clairvoyant, so pay attention to that psychic abilities. These people want psychics too on their side, okay? They're not going to get that. Spirit says it's time to shine. Let's see what else is the message here. I'm going to get into the tarot. Look. Capricorn energy. The devil's in the bottom of the deck. I swear to God, like, I don't know if y'all like to swear or not, but, you know, sometimes I just kind of, it comes out or whatever. Um, yeah, the devil is here, guys. I'm telling you, the devil is watching you. They're trying to bind you. They're trying to chain you. The agents here, they're trying to tempt you is what I'm getting. The devil is a card of temptation right now. Do not fall on their temptation right now, okay? You might have met a girl or a guy coming into your life. Scorpio energy here. Out of nowhere, trying to tempt you, trying to seduce you. The devil, definitely a lot of sexual energy, trying to seduce you, trying to confuse you, trying to weaken you, all right? Trying to make you take the bite of that apple. Do not fall for this temptation. Do not fall for this distraction. Right now, you are... This person, this entity is trying to <clears throat> cause illusions in your life. Wow, look at this. You guys need to be careful, okay? You are being watched by the devil. Like, ace of swords, guys. This is my confirmation card saying I'm speaking the truth. Y'all already know Maji got the T. I never lie on my channel. I speak the truth. Okay? We have the Nine of Swords. I'm definitely speaking to a chosen one here who's getting attacked. That's why I noticed how I started my reading with the sword on my hand. You are the sword of truth. So the enemy is trying to stop the truth. Trying to stop the truth, the word of God from spreading out. Okay? Meaning the truth that you carry inside of you. The Nine of Swords is definitely telling me that this devil is playing tricks on you. It's playing tricks in your mind. It's trying to attack you in your sleep. It's causing you anxiety. It's trying to cause frustration into your life. It's trying to cause you PTSD, okay? It's trying to stress you out. You might just feel completely overwhelmed. Some of you guys may be crying or having nightmares is what I'm getting. You may be having nightmares because you're having dreams with dark entities, creatures, they know that you're chosen, you're crowned. Six of Swords tells me to stay calm at this time, okay? Do not let the enemy win. Let go of that anxiety or frustration, okay? Make sure that you guys are praying and protecting your energy. Something about your sleep, okay? Make sure you guys check under the bed. Look at the high priestess, can't lie. Look, make sure you guys, I'm hearing somebody here has to check under their bed. There might be some sort of like spell or something that is put on your bed so you can't sleep by an agent of the, of the enemy here. Okay, so the agents, they come in the form of your family, your friends, your co-workers, strangers. Okay, these are the agents. They're going to look humans, but they're not. These are people that are children of the devil, that work for the devil. Spirit is actually guiding you to move away physically, spiritually, or emotionally from something or someone. So make sure you guys listen to your intuition at this time. Definitely, I'm, put, I'm hearing like put lavender under your pillow so that you can sleep. Take a spiritual bath. We have the three of swords. Exactly. There's a lot of pain here that is that you're going through. You're going through a lot of pain right now. Maybe even a heartbreak. Maybe maybe you have to let go of someone and someone you love. And you're you're kind of like, yeah, look, the page of swords. You're, they're watching you, bro. They're watching you in groups, too. They could be watching your YouTube, your platform, your Instagram. Something that you do online here as well. 3-3 three, three might be significant to you. You could be at path life number 33. Success. Like I said, the six of wands. You are somebody that's in the public eye or meant to be in the public eye. The devil's trying to stop you from your success, from you getting the recognition, the rewards that you deserve. I am telling you right now. And we have Virgo energy here. This is the time to spend time alone, to go into yourself. You might be going through a spiritual awakening. You could be a Virgo here. 
but you are the light for many people. You carry this light at the end of the tunnel for many people. That's why you're being watched because they know whatever you're meant to do as a healer is going to bring you a lot of success and you're going to bring it to many people in the world here. We have the judgment, like I said. You're being resurrected. This is something, some type of skill that you've done in a past life. The, the, the judgment card tells me the judgment is coming for your enemies. The judgment is coming for the devil. That's what the devil's trying to recruit the chosen ones because they know their time is up. They know that this Armageddon is coming. They know that God is going to come and judge them. This is crazy. I'm hearing you're free spirited. You're free spirited. Yeah, we have, um, I see the sun card here, ace of cups and the death. You are going through some major endings in your life right now. Okay. For some of you guys, you need to be careful because it's like this enemy wants you dead before you can reach your success. They want the chosen ones gone before they can accomplish what God has hired them to do. Okay. Scorpio energy. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Exactly. They're trying to stop you before you can get to this blessing that God has for you. Before you can get this new beginning. Okay. Before you can enter this portal where you can speak to God, reach God here. And your spirit guides, I'm also hearing. You have a lot of spirit guides. So you need to let go of something. Move away from somebody toxic. The devil speaks of toxicity, of narcissists. Okay, it's time to love yourself, to bring in back that Holy Spirit, to bring in back that love. Yeah, five of swords. You have a lot of enemies around you guys. You need to be careful at this time. Be diligent, okay? Like, this hermit card is always telling me, like, you're somebody that's very aware of energy so you keep like you're not you're not somebody that's in a crowd okay make sure that you're not in a lot of crowds someone here a friend might betray you okay they might be collaborating against you again there's toxicity around you there's energy vampires around you somebody comment down below i am a chosen one because this is it you are a chosen one the chalice this is you you are a chosen one you are a child of god you're here to bring many many healing many love much light much prosperity into this world you're meant to pour into the sea of darkness you're meant to pour light okay so you're going through a transformation right now i'm definitely getting somebody's going to a deep spiritual awakening for this new beginning you're connecting with that peace that inner peace inside of you the holy spirit inside of you i'm telling you right now And the tower. Last night here in New York, it was raining. There was a lot of thunder on June 1st. That's not ironic, okay? There's an epiphany. There's an exposure. Something's going to be exposed to you. Justice, Libra energy. Okay, whatever this is, you're about to receive justice. Okay, judgment is coming for these people. Use your intuition. Use your psychic powers to discern here because you are being watched. Somebody's watching you hurt or collaborate against you there might be a collaboration partnership coming towards you a brand new opportunity and they're trying to distract you from this okay because you're meant to be of service to the community and to the world so you're getting justice because something has backfired whatever the devil's plans were it backfired somebody comment that down below whatever the devil's plans was it backfired it did not work you are a chosen one Somebody comment down below. I am chosen. I am a child of God. All right. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. You're getting just to see the scales are balancing. Okay. Since this is a quick reading, let me just end it with an oracle card. How do we close out this reading spirit? We have happy family. Like I said, your own family members could be these agents right now. Your own lovers. So make sure you guys use your discernment. Who's draining you? Who's uplifting you? Who's toxic? Who, who's a narcissist? Okay, we have happy family. So yeah, you're about to get that, that promised land. You're about to get that promise, happy family and foundation. But remember, there's a Judas in your energy. These are the agents. They're causing deception in your life. They're deceiving you. Somebody here is being sent to you or many people are being sent to you to deceive you. Again, this could be in your own family. This could be your own children for some of you. This is real life, dog. We have this deception. You could be a path life number four, seven. You could be born on the 25th. Beware of deception. Beware of, of people that are so um, thirsty, okay, for money. They just want money. They're worldly people that are just interested in money. I'm speaking to somebody who's very spiritual. You're very loving. You have so much love to give to the world. You're not even focused 
you're not even like focused on money like that you know you're not a worldly being somebody is here somebody's trying to sell you i'm hearing sell your soul and we have caring connection you could be in a twin flame connection here and the devil's trying to block that for some of you this is the same partner okay you could have a carnelian um necklace i'm hearing <clears throat> woman holding a heart you are the queen of cups pisces cancer scorpio okay you have a big heart somebody's trying to destroy your heart destroy your love so that you do not share this abundant unconditional love with the world they're trying to destroy your heart i'm telling you right now because you have such a big heart and i'm seeing 44 and another four so you could be seeing 444 1414 or 414 comment down below if this is you last message last message yeah, Archangel Michael's with you, though. okay? This is the time to rest, to remain calm, to meditate, to integrate, because you're getting a lot of spiritual downloads at this time. Spirit is giving you the tea. Spirit is telling you what to do. It's time to connect with God. It's time to connect with your spirit guides, ancestors, and with yourself. You could be born on the 19th, okay? T time to meditate, guys. Time to go within. Time to play some healing music. <clears throat> Archangel Michael's helping you with your root, okay, and your stability. And we have that heart. Yeah, see, the devil's trying to break your heart, trying to confuse you, trying to cause anxiety, nightmares. Some of you guys have been crying while you're sleeping. I'm telling you, you're waking up from nightmares or something, or maybe you've gone through a heartbreak. You could be born on the 18th or the 9th. Somebody has been crying here because their heart is aching. You could be having heart pain. But the door to spirit is there trying to communicate with you, trying to tell you what's going on. Okay, guys, this is what I have for you. Um, like I said, stay tuned for my second video or third video that I will be releasing today. Remember, no weapon form against you shall prosper. You are a chosen child of God. They can't do shit to us. All right. But you need to remain calm. You need to protect your energy. Keep your vibration high by meditating. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Peace out.